Hey guys. I'm just sharing another video. Uh, this is an update on how I pick items. Um, so this is using a tool called URL Grabber. Uh, Alessio showed it. I don't, is that how I pronounce his name? Alessio? Alessio? I don't know. But he showed me this a couple months, or a month or two ago. Um, and it's been really useful. So I base the items I pick off of my sales. So recently I sold a Ozark item. And I thought that was pretty cool. And so it's like camping stuff. The thing I sold was like a foldable. It was like one of these kind of things. Um, but the second I get a sale from something, and then, well, not the second, but when I feel like posting some more stuff, I go here, click on Walmart. So this process is still the same. This is the part that's different. So 13, okay. We're going to open all of these. Hope that doesn't mess anything up with the recording. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Where are we at? Where are we at? 7. Okay. 9. So I'm making... A list of search results, right? I'm opening a tab, and each tab has a page of items that I want. And this is no macros, this is only with a Chrome extension. Well, I haven't used it yet, but I will in a second. Okay, so that's good. And then what else did I want to do? Um, okay, my inbox is a mess, don't worry about that. Oh, there was something I just searched for. Oh, yeah, dressing. Dressing. Uh, pack. I just sold some dressing overseas. So I'm going to sell some more dressing. And I like the packs because <laughs> the other day I sold a Slim Jim for $23. And I ended up canceling the sale because I'm pretty sure if the guy got the Slim Jim and realized it was only one Slim Jim, it didn't say that it was more than one Slim Jim, but I guess people just assume. Pretty sure he wouldn't have been happy about that. But, oh, there's 50 pages here? I don't want to do all 50. I'll do, like, 10. I don't need 50 pages of dressing. Although, like, 25% of the items I'm going to post are going to error in Hydralister. Um, so I'm not actually going to be posting every single item I enter. Which I used to get frustrated with, but nowadays it actually works out because I've realized like it's kind of important to like maintain your growth and like slowly grow your listings. I was trying to just like be like boom, ten thousand more listings, and it I don't know it gets kind of stressful. There's something to be said about getting sales when you're you're continuously posting things instead of just posting stuff like all at once. And this is the Ozark stuff. Okay, cool. So now for the link grabber part. We're just going to click here, and then next tab. Click here, and the next tab, and so forth. Okay, pretty simple. And once I get to the end of this list, I'm like a third of the way done. Yeah. Almost there. I could move faster, but if you move too quickly, then the link grabber page doesn't load properly. So now what I did is I opened every, I had a list of tabs of search results, and now I opened the link grabber page, and this just takes every single link that's on the entire web page, right? So now we need to filter that, and also we have these windows which we don't need anymore. So I go through this list, and I like this because it's kind of like, it reminds me of a zipper. You go control W to close the window. And then IP, you have to type it the first time, and then copy. And then control tab, next, close, paste, next, close, paste, next, close, paste. And then you can just keep going. I love keystrokes, they're the best. And I like watching as like the pages becomes old link grabber links. There we go. Okay. So now we're over halfway done. We're gonna go to Hydra. Um, and I, I'm, I'm using two monitors, so you're not actually going to see where I'm pasting things to Hydra, but you'll get the gist of it.
see it's this web page right here cool except this is right above me so I'm looking at it here and now we just go to our first link and then we do this and then we paste it into Hydra and then we go to our second link and then we do this and we paste it in and the third and then the fourth so I'm going to do this whole list of items and then I'm going to tell you how many items I sent into Hydra and how many I can expect to actually get posted. Third of the way done now. Halfway done. Boop. Oh, now it's 40 page results. Nice. I love 40 pages. It's like almost the same amount of time to list them, but you get double the amount, which is awesome. Like a lot of these items that I'm posting uh, are actually already in my store. Um, from when I've like searched other things, so they're not all going to get posted, but any that I didn't post, like at some point I looked for f items with the keyword folding, right? Um, so some of these items have that keyword in them, so it's possible I've already posted them, but I'm not really worried. Like I said, there's an amount that you put into Hydra, and then an amount that actually gets posted, and it's much smaller, and that's okay, because it's no longer a very time-consuming thing. Like, uh, four more tabs to do. Almost done. Oh, and I could actually make a macro for this part. It would be pretty simple. And then that would mean that I don't have to do this all manually. Which would be cool, although I don't think it really matters a whole lot. I think I'm actually... Yeah, the first link there is an ad for an item, and I keep copying it. But Hydra will notice. Probably. Sometimes the links say do not publish. It's kind of weird. Like, see this one? Do not publish, and you click on it. And then it's just like a regular item. It's for sale, in stock, all that stuff. Oh, assortment do not publish. Interesting. It's legitimately the name of the title. Huh. There was another thing. I copied an eBay link once, and then one of Amazon, there was a typo in it, and it, you could tell that they had copied the title from eBay because it included some of the meta that you get when you do that. It was weird. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, so I did all that. So let's see, how many items was that? 40. 80, 120, 100, and, uh, wow, I can math, 160, 200, 240, 280, 320, 360, 400, 420, 480, 500, 520, 40, 560, 580, 600, 2, 4, whoops, 6, 8, 10, okay, so we queued 700 items into Hydrolister. Um, we can expect that anywhere between two and four hundred of those items will post, depending on how often I've reused them and that kind of thing. But that's how I do it now. I just wanted to do a little video, show how my workflow is. Hope something about that was useful. What am I doing? There we go. Cool. Thank you for watching.